Did you know that one of the ingredients in dynamite is peanuts? Hey guys, sorry I look and sound like death. I've been sick for the past three days and haven't really done anything other than video games, sleep, movies, and video games. <laughs> Anyways, on to the topics. The first thing I wanted to talk about was Olympics. And I know you guys are probably like, hey, wait a minute, Isaac. The Olympics are over and you've already talked about them like three or four times. And you get a gold star because you are right. But even though the Olympics are over, that didn't stop a certain Texas columnist from writing an article that compared the Canadian 2010 Olympics to Germany Berlin's 1936 Olympics. He called Canadians Nazis. A citizen of Texas called Canada a racist country. Irony much? I'm not even joking. This guy complained that our country cheered for our country during the Canadian Olympics. He complained that for two weeks, every citizen of the country wore their country's national emblem on a shirt or gloves or hat or something, like it was abnormal or wrong. Despite the comments from athletes that said they quite enjoyed their stay in Canada during the Winter Olympics, he claimed that we made them feel unwelcome and hated or something. Basically, he just complained for 2,500 words or however long the article was. And you know what? I understand. I understand because Americans usually can't handle to have the focus taken off of them for two seconds, never mind two weeks. And when we celebrate because we've set a record for ourselves and the world in general with the Olympics, Americans say, Oh oh yeah, that 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 that's great. And, and we'll let you we'll let you finish, but hey, wait. No. Bad. Bad. I'm just joking. I have plenty of American friends and they're all awesome and I love them all very much. But I'm not joking about this article. The link is in the sidebar. You should go check it out right now. And yeah, it's pretty bad. Guys, the next thing I wanted to talk about was something that most of you have probably never heard of before or never even seen before. In my sickness through the past three days, or in a bit, I guess, I have been really bored and surfing around on the internet trying to find some old games that I used to play when I was a kid and I just discovered the internet and it had all these really cool little games on it. One game in particular that I couldn't even find on the like original website was Lenny Loose Jocks in Space. I don't know how many of you ever heard of Lenny Loose Jocks at all before, but he was like this internet character that was really funny. He was from Australia and he had a lot of really cool games. And it took me forever to find this really good game called Lenny Loose Jocks in Space. And you know, you go around and you save the world from being blown up by aliens or something like that. There's a point and click puzzle game and it used to be one of my favorite games as a kid. And I, I'm starting to think, wow, I'm kind of old now. I like things that don't exist technically anymore. That makes me old, right? I'll put a link in the sidebar of some Lenny Loose Jocks stuff for you to watch and play and have fun with. And I'll move on with the topic. The next thing I wanted to talk about was the head of NBC and how recently he made a comment that YouTube is kind of like child's play and it's it's okay in its own little world there, but we're the kings of the of the industry and they should just stay where they are. I'm not sure if those were his words exactly, but they were along those lines. And anyone who hears him say something like that knows that he has never spent any time trying to click around YouTube or not enough time to find out more about the community. I mean, YouTube is a huge community. Heck, it sometimes it could even be called an industry because people make money because of YouTube. NBC gets helped by YouTube when certain videos go viral. Then again, NBC also gets hurt by YouTube when things like Conan O'Brien happen. I mean, the head of NBC has obviously never seen any of the videos I've posted in the sidebar. Click, 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 click. I will also post a link to the article in the sidebar. I caught it that time. And now it's time for everybody's favorite part of the show. Support the hater. <laughs> Today's support the hater goes out to a YouTube user named Cheating the System 21 who actually has some really good videos up and you should go check out their channel and watch their videos. Was that an act of kindness towards someone who did something mean to you? Yes. Yes, it was. Why would you do that? That person does not deserve anything like that. You should never do that to that person. That person was very mean to you and you should you should tell them to go and get a life and grow some balls and do things that would make them not homosexual anymore. Can you just I'm not I'm not done here. Can you let me finish? I'll just, I'll do whatever I want in my videos, okay? I just, I want to get this, this finished, all right? Jeez. Cheating the System 21 is 26 years old, joined YouTube September 24th, 2007, and lives in Canada. Cheating the System 21 left a comment on one of my videos saying, Three homosexuals walk into a sauna. This video is made.
I'm not really quite sure how this user came to that conclusion. Um, I don't even really know how that makes any sense. So, uh, that's, that's all. So please, support this hater, because they need all the help they can get. And now for today's shoutout. Today's shoutout goes out to a YouTube user named mcallister3596. Yes, 3596. mcallister3596 was the fifth person to comment. mcallister was the fifth person. mcallister was the fifth. Oh my gosh. mcallister3596 was the fifth person to comment on my last video. Congratulations, mcallister3596. Shout out to you. Remember, if you would like a shout out on one of my videos, just be the fifth person to comment on this video, and I will be sure to give you a shout out on the next video. And if you'd really like to comment but don't have anything to say about all the other stuff I've talked about in this video, here is a weekly Would You Rather. Would you rather go skydiving in Vermont or skydiving in BC? And why? Hey, wait a minute! That that had nothing to do with the rest of your video. That had nothing to do with it. I know. So, what's your point? Well, well, your would you rather's always have something to do with the topics of your video, and they're always mixed in together, and it's it's really it's what you always do. But I never said that was the rule. It's just what I do, sometimes. Look, but that's wrong. You can't do what you want in your videos. What? This is my video. I told you, I'm gonna do what I want in my video. Just leave me alone, okay? Man. I'm Isaac Goley. Thanks for joining me once again on Rant.